Alright, this one is going to be about hair cell damage, and this video is specifically so that you can... It just... What am I trying to say? A lot of people with tinnitus tend to focus on how they got it. And more than that, a lot of people tend to focus largely because of what doctors say on the ailment and that sort of thing. And they're wrong, by the way. Let me cut to the chase there. But they tend to say, you know, ah, oh, you've got hair cell damage, you're stuck with the tinnitus, there's no cure, you're going to have it for a million years, blah, 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 you know. I'm very dismissive of that sort of stuff. You know, my apologies if it comes across as a bit pessimistic. But yeah, so basically to get to the point, which is what I always try to do with these videos and fail miserably, but yeah, with hair cells and damage and acoustic trauma, physical causes of tinnitus, it's perfectly understandable to think that that means you're stuck with it, but you're not. It's You're just not. There's about a million things that cause tinnitus, you know, that contribute towards getting it or not. Because fundamentally, in every single case, the issue is the same. The nervous system is dysfunctional, the neurons in the brain are overexcited. You know, that's the basic thing, so you can hear it as ringing. As far as I'm aware, that's got bugger all to do with the ear. You know, and there is some precedent for the idea that if the hair cells are damaged, the brain could be over-adapting, you know, so the neurons are more excitable or whatever. I don't know the details. I make a point of not diving into them because they're not useful in curing this. If it, if it was, people much smarter than me would have come up with a cure with that type of information by now. The amount of doctors that have looked at it like that and they're still coming up empty is unbelievable. So clearly the approach is wrong there are other things involved. So yeah, let's say there is some precedent for the idea that hair cell damage could mean you're more predisposed to getting tinnitus. You know, like you find you, you get a limb lopped off, you'll get phantom sensations, phantom pain, where I think the brain is over adapting, whatever. So you can understand it. There is some logic to it, but that is just a theory of mine. I don't know if it actually holds any weight. I've yet to read any specific paper or research on it that states specifically that hair cell damage correlates with tinnitus. Because there are all sorts of people that are deaf, a bit deaf, completely deaf, all manner of, you know, problems with the ear, and not all of them get tinnitus. So clearly, it's not a direct factor. If it was even true in one case that there was a deaf person that doesn't have tinnitus, it would completely disprove that there's a direct correlation. And, yeah, there's all sorts of people that have hearing damage that don't have tinnitus, you know? There's all sorts of people like myself that have perfectly good hearing and, you know, had shitloads of it. So, yeah. So again, to get back to the point, focusing on hair cells and acoustic trauma, loud noise, all these sorts of things, they may seem like the trigger for your tinnitus, but again, the problem is that the neurons are overexcited. That doesn't really have that much to do with a loud blast of noise that you would have gotten yesterday, or a week ago, or a year ago, or ten years ago, or whatever. It just, it doesn't mean anything in terms of why your tinnitus is there, and how to cure it. It's really not useful to be focusing on that type of stuff to cure the tinnitus because fundamentally, in every single case, relaxing more, reducing the nervous system activity, or rebalancing it so that it's, you know, calmer, whatever, and reducing the neuron activity with that, that will always have a positive impact on your tinnitus. Always, always, always. In every single case, it will work. So, yeah, that's basically all I think about hair cells and damage and acoustic trauma. It's just not a thing we need to concern ourselves with, with dealing with the tinnitus. It just isn't. It's not useful. There, there's, as far as I'm aware, there's nothing that can heal damaged hair cells. So, in terms of tinnitus, I don't know about hearing and all that sort of stuff, but in terms of dealing with tinnitus, you're not stuck with the ringing just because you have damage to your ear. There's way more factors going on than just what's going on in the ear to cause the tinnitus. Tinnitus is a problem with the brain, basically, not the ear. There's there doesn't have to be anything wrong with your ears to get it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope I've made that pretty clear. Don't worry about hair cell damage. Don't worry about loud noise. You know, don't worry about that stuff. Focus on relaxing more, being calmer, all the types of stuff I talk about in the other videos, you know. That stuff. That's what you should focus on to cure the tinnitus. Don't get hit up or worried about the fact that you've had a physical trigger. The physical cause that has triggered it is probably just the, uh, the straw that breaks the camel's back. There's always other things going on with tinnitus, otherwise you'd be like the, you know, sheer number of people that get a bit of loud noise and don't get 
ringing in the ears. Or they'll get it for a day or two, and then it'll back off. You know, if your ringing stays on after a couple of days, it means that there's other things going on to keep you, keep you in that state where the neurons are overexcited. So yeah, that's it. Let's say I hope I've been clear on that. I hope that that's an okay video. I don't know. Not used to doing short ones, but yeah, that's pretty much all I think on that. So to anyone that is worried about this stuff, don't. Just don't worry about it. It's not an issue. You're gonna be fine. All right. So yeah, that'll do. Catch you guys in the next one. See ya.